All right, there is this Boomer, the dog. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and I just got out of the court. It was appeals court today. We had over at the courthouse. The Grand date Street. today? And it's March 30th, 2011, right here. I'm right down in Pittsburgh just after the court uh, hearing. And it was very interesting. It seems like the judges were interested in my case and they were glad that I came down and you know even though I have my squeaky and I got my you know I'm dressed in my scrubs the usual for the dogs very well dressed for court yeah I had to excuse myself actually for that because I didn't know if they would be offended or not so I, and they they said well we pretty much we wouldn't have had it expected anything else so that's uh, that's about it. So we have to wait like a few days. Well, what were some of the uh, points that the judges brought up? Well, Remember? that um, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, just to mainly that we had to argue the previous points that we thought how the procedure in the original court might be wrong, and argue that uh, situation. See if you know we could say how the judge or the so the one judge really said wasn't so much the merits of whether he agreed with you or not whether or not the original uh, court petition that they handled it in some improprietary manner which would be addressed by the superior court yeah and then right. the second judge said he was sympathetic towards your um, right of self-expression and personal freedom but he asked what if you well, would consider if well if i wouldn't mind going with just boomer dog mm -hmm. and keeping the out of it middle name which I really didn't have a response for, then I just barked that, uh, well, it could be abbreviated with a T, or maybe, uh, you know, I wouldn't be using it all the time. It wouldn't right. be something I'd be using every minute. In most of the situations, you're not using an entire full name. That's on very formal things, and I would think, well, in any case like that, if it was real formal, everybody's going to have all the information to understand it. Right. That's what I think. It seems they mention creditors a lot, and... We should have told him you don't ever ask for credit anyway, so. I don't have any love. credit and yeah. I don't intend to get any. I, <laughs> you I don't, don't even have credit cards, them. right? So nah. what's the problem? I don't know. What's the problem? So we were able to put a couple letters from your friends at the Prothonotary and he turned out to be a little bit of a fan. Yeah. Been following you on YouTube. Yeah, that so, was great. So uh, he did what he could to put in your letters. They probably, I think they like the case over there. I mean, everybody I've met in the courts that I've seen at least more than one time and some that I haven't before have mentioned that they uh, are following it or say, oh, you know, that's a little something a little different than otherwise the all day that we have here in court. Exactly. So they it's like not, it. you know, case, court case about something that's, uh, you know, depressing and stuff like that. So yeah, a uh, lot of times, or just dry, as the, you know, someone said, well, we have a lot of procedural stuff that we have to do. And it's just one after the other of this, and then I come in there and I have something fun happening. All right. Well, let's. Uh, that's a great summary, and let's give a howl for freedom. Arr! Arr! Arr!